Hello there, boys and girls. This is Lesson 12.7, Metric Unit of Mass and Liquid Volume. Our essential question is how can you use models to compare metric units of mass and liquid volume? Please go ahead and open up your Go Math book to Lesson 12.7, and let's get started. Because our essential question in this lesson is how can you use models to compare metric units of mass and metric units of liquid volume, I'm going to model for you today about using models. And we're going to draw models together. So let's look at our first example. Our first example says 5 liters equals how many milliliters? And so what I'm going to do is show a model for you. I'm going to make one line to signify 1 liter, 2 liters, 3 liters, 4 liters, 5 liters. And as you can see up here in my conversion chart, I see that 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So that's why we would say 1 liter is 1,000 milliliters, another 1,000 milliliters, another 1,000 milliliters, and you keep doing this until you can find how many milliliters is 5 liters. So you would add up all of your milliliters, and when you add it up, it would be 5 times 1,000, or 5,000. And that is how we got the answer. So let's look at question 2. 3 kilograms equals how many grams? So I'm going to go ahead and draw 3 lines. Each line will represent 1 kilogram. And I'm going to put on each line the value of how many grams are in a kilogram. One kilogram has a thousand grams, another kilogram has a thousand grams, and a third kilogram has a thousand grams. And so if I were to add up all of my kilograms, they would equal 3,000 grams. Therefore, for number two, three kilograms equals 3,000 grams. Okay, I want you to try questions three through seven on your own, and we will check them together. So go ahead and press pause now. Okay, for questions three through seven, this should be your answer. For question number three, you should have 8,000 milliliters are in eight liters, because for every one liter is 1,000 milliliters. For number four, seven kilograms equals 7,000 grams, because one kilogram has 1,000 grams, Therefore, 7 kilograms would equal 7,000 grams. For number 5, 9 liters is 9,000 milliliters. For number 6, 2 liters equals 2,000 milliliters. And number 7, 6 kilograms equals 6,000 grams. I hope our answers matched. Let's move on. So for this set of questions, for number 8 through 11, we're going to look at comparing using greater than, less than, or equal to. So for number 8, it says 8 kilograms. Is it greater, less, or equal to 850 grams? Well, I'm going to look at my chart, and I can see that 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So 8 kilograms would equal 8,000 grams. So I know 8,000 is much greater than 850 grams, therefore I know 8 kilograms is greater than 850 grams. So let's go on to question number 9. Question number 9 says 3 liters and 3,500 milliliters. Again, looking up at my chart, I can see that I have for 1 liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So 3 liters would be 3 times 1,000. So I know the value of 3 liters would be 3,000 because 1 liter, 2 liter, 3 liters, and each liter has 1,000 milliliters inside of it. Therefore, I know that it would have to be the value of 3,000 milliliters. So let's see which one's greater, 3,500 or 3,000? 3, Definitely 3,500. Therefore. 3,500 milliliters is greater than 3 liters. Go ahead, pause the video, and I want you to do 10 and 11 on your own, and we'll check them together.
and your answers for number 10 and 11 are as follows. For number 10, you should have equal to, because one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams, just like you can see right here. And for number 11, five liters has the value of 5,000 milliliters, and I know 5,000 milliliters is greater than 520 milliliters. Let's move on to our problem solving now. Question number 12 says this. Kenny buys four one liter bottles of water. How many milliliters of water does Kenny buy? Go ahead, pause the question, and I want you to work it out on your own, and then press pause again, and we will check and see if we match. Okay, so if you were to draw a model for this one, you can just draw four lines because you don't have the pictures like I do. So you can just draw four lines. Each line is going to resemble or represent one liter. Now we know in our chart it says one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. And so I'm just gonna write 1,000 on each one of these lines. And knowing that I would have four groups of 1,000, I would know that I would have 4,000 milliliters <laughs> for Kenny's water bottles. So let's look at question number 13. It said Mrs. Jones bought three two kilogram packages of flour. How many grams of flour did she buy? So we're looking for how many grams, not how many kilograms. So go ahead, pause the video and work this one out. And we'll go ahead and check and see if we match. Now for this one, it says Mrs. Jones bought three two kilogram packages of flour. So I know that he, this is gonna represent two kilograms and she bought three <coughs> sets of two kilograms. And I know in one kilogram, there's 1,000 grams. So I'm just gonna write 1,000 on each of my lines to resemble my models. And then it'll be a lot easier to figure this out. So really, you can think about each of the two kilogram packages has a value of 2,000 grams of flour. And I know 2,000 times three is 6,000. So my answer would be 6,000 grams of flour. Okay, let's take a look at question number 14. It says Colleen bought eight kilograms of apples and two and a half kilograms of pears. How many more grams of apples than pears did she buy? Now we've learned in our word problem dissecting that whenever you see the question, how many more than, you know you're gonna subtract the smaller value from the larger value. But it's asking about grams, not kilograms. So we actually have to turn our kilograms into grams. But that's not hard at all because we have the formula. So I want you to pause the video and I want you to try this one on your own and then we'll check and see if you did it correctly. Okay, for this one you should have taken your eight kilograms and turned it into 8,000 grams because eight times 1,000 equals 8,000. So we have 8,000 grams of apples and two and a half kilograms of pears, we need to turn that into grams. Well, I know one, two, and I'll make a small one for a half. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I figured out the value of two and a half kilograms. I'm gonna have one kilogram to equal a thousand, another kilogram equals a thousand, but then a half of a kilogram would have to be 500 because 500 is half of a thousand. So the value of my pairs is going to be 2,500. So I'm going to subtract 2,500 from my 8,000 grams of apples. Now we can find the difference. Now boys and girls, whenever you subtract with zeros, you also make sure that you regroup correctly. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to subtract our ones place first. Zero minus zero is zero. My tens place, zero tens minus zero tens are also zero tens. But my hundreds, I have zero hundreds minus five hundred. I cannot do that, so I need to regroup. 
I'm going to regroup from my thousands place and take away one group of a thousand and make a thousand in my hundreds place. And I know ten groups of a hundred equals a thousand. So I am taking it and making it ten minus five, which will be five hundred. And in my thousands I have seven thousand minus two thousand is five thousand. So we can say the difference of the 8,000 grams of apples and the 2,500 grams of pears, the difference would be 5,500 grams between the two different types of fruit. And this last question, number 15, says Dave uses 500 milliliters of juice for a punch recipe. He mixes it with 2 liters of ginger ale. How many milliliters of punch does he make? Whenever you're looking for a bigger number because he's mixing it together and it says how many, it's almost like he's saying how many all together. So we're going to add. That would be the correct operation for this question. So I know that he has 500 milliliters of juice for the punch recipe and he's going to mix it with two liters. So our job is to take this two liters and turn it into milliliters just like he had in the first part of the question. So when we come over here, I'm going to make my two models of liters, and I'm going to turn them into milliliters. Remember, our chart says a thousand milliliters are in each of our liters. Therefore, we're going to add 2,000 to my other 500, and you should have said the total answer would be 2,500 milliliters of punch that he makes all together. Okay, so now on page 234, the back side of your Go Math page, I want you to look at questions number one and two. These are your homework questions for our topic. Number one says, during his hike, Milt drank one liter of water and one liter of sports drink. How many milliliters of liquid did he drink in all? Go ahead and answer that question. As well as number two says, Lorinda cooked a four kilogram roast. The roast left over after the meal weighed three kilograms. How many grams of roast were eaten during that meal? So you know it started out as a large number, four kilograms, and then the roast left over after the meal weighed three kilograms. How many grams of roast were eaten during that meal? So in other words, what was left over? So your choices are A, 7,000, B, 1,000, C, 700, D, 100. Please show your work in this section um, on your Go Math sheet. I don't want you to do this in your head. I do want you to show your work and how you got your answer. When you're done with these two questions, continue on through questions 4, 5, and 6. You might notice that I didn't have you do question 3. The reason why you're not doing question three is because it says that you need to use a protractor to measure that angle, and we don't have protractors at our houses, so therefore I want you to just leave that one alone, and you can just go on to four, five, and six. When you're finished with answering these questions, I want you to assess yourself. I want you to assess yourself based on today's lesson, using milliliters, liters, grams and kilograms. And I want you to assess yourself as either a novice, apprentice, practitioner, or expert. And here are your two questions again. Don't forget to do the other three questions on this page. And we will work on this tomorrow in class with much more practice and more activities. Have a great night. Bye-bye.